for today's video, I will be sharing with you guys a little shopping haul. Um, it's actually not little, it's quite large, but yeah. I needed to restock on a couple of bathroom beauty products like face wash, body wash, toothpaste, body lotion, you know, just the normal stuff that go in your bathroom. I ended up going to H-E-B, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, Target, and one of my favorite local thrift stores. Um, what I got at the thrift store and at Target are clothing items, but because I got them around the same time, I decided to share that with you guys as well. The rest of the stuff from H-E-B, Marshalls, and TJ Maxx are beauty products. Um, for those of you who do not know what an H-E-B is, it's basically like a Walmart super center. I think H-E-B is a Texas only store, so that's why I'm stating that fact. But um, yeah, this video was super unplanned for. I really wasn't planning on recording. I decided to record them today, like right now, because I already want to start using the products. So one, excuse the noise in the background, the kids are home. If you guys hear any screaming or possibly fighting, yeah, those are the kids. Um, and two, excuse my nails. I didn't have time to do my nails, so yeah, they're a little bit yucky. Another thing that I wanted to mention really quickly before we get started is some of the products that I got are repurchased products. So I will be throwing in a couple of my personal reviews and opinions on them. And then some other stuff are new to me, so... I'll be showing you guys why I got them and what I think about them like first impression kind of thing. If you guys are interested, please keep on watching and let's get started. I'm going to start off with what I got at HEB because what I got at HEB really wasn't that interesting. Okay, let me get comfortable. Okay. The first thing that I got at HEB, I'm going to start off from least interesting to most interesting. So, least interesting, cotton balls. Not that Cool, but you know it's stuff that we need in our bathroom so cotton balls um, the next thing is toothpaste we got to have toothpaste moving on to razors these are the razors oh these are upside down but these are the razors that I got I got these Noxima Noxima I don't know how you pronounce that name but there you guys go you guys can see them I got these because this was an 8-pack and they were on like special. They had them for $2. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared to try them because I have super, super sensitive skin. So I'm kind of scared that they're going to irritate my skin. But I guess I'll give them a try. Um, but yeah. And then the other ones I have tried before, they're the BIC or BIC. Um, I don't know I call them big but they're the simply soleil and they're these right here it's the four pack and I've tried these so you know again not that interesting stuff that we need in our bathroom uh, moving on to the other not interesting stuff my husband's got to have his deodorant he gets the right guard uh, he got the sport and uh, yeah sport fresh and sport active um, I actually really like the way these smell these are very very inexpensive my husband doesn't have sensitive skin so he can pretty much get any deodorant and oh yeah that one smells really good yeah he can get any deodorant and he doesn't have any problem with with it these actually last all day um and they smell really really good i don't know what ingredients these have in them but yeah husband's deodorant we got a couple of those we actually got two other ones um okay so moving on to the more interesting stuff um the next thing that i got at heb is the dials kits body and hair wash i really like this product this is in the peachy clean scent here yeah it smells really good yeah it's not like a super strong scent i feel like it's perfect for the kits you don't want them to be smelling like hardcore fruit basket um i don't know i just i really like the smell it's like it really is like a soft peachy clean scent like the description on here is perfect for the way it smells it's for ages two and up tear free hypoallergenic no artificial dyes no parabens ph balance and gentle on kit skin so um i know that there's one for ages six and up 
and my seven year old about to be eight year old still uses this one he really hasn't gotten to the point where he starts smelling bad so this one cleans him up really well leaves him smelling really good so this one works on him just as well as it works on my three-year-old my three-year-old obviously already grew out of baby shampoo so I've been buying him like bigger boy shampoo which is why I've been using this one um, I've been using this one for a while my three-year-old has super super sensitive skin and this one doesn't irritate his skin or leave it dry at all like I really like this one so I recommend it if you have little ones I really recommend this body wash here and it's for body and hair so that's another thing that I like about it. That way you don't have that many like soap bottles in the kids bathroom. The less the better for me. So yeah, recommend the shampoo. The next thing that I got is this ivory body wash. This is my first time buying this body wash here. This is in the original scent. Um, here, let me smell it. Sorry to forgot to smell it. Ow! Yeah, it smells really good. It has like a very clean, fresh scent to it. It says, no dyes, no heavy perfumes. Ivory simply gets you clean like a body wash should. So I tried it on yesterday. That's why the pump is up. And so far, so good. I didn't feel irritated or itchiness on my skin. So I've been liking it so far. Um, I got this big bottle. This is the 32 ounce for like two or three bucks. So it's super inexpensive. I like that it has a pump on it. And yeah, the reason why I got the big bottle is because my husband... He has his own body wash and he'll still, he still uses mine. Like he'll end up using mine up anyways. Like I don't know why he does that, but I'm glad I got the big bottle because we're more than likely going to end up sharing body wash. The next thing that I got is probably one of my favorite uh, face cleansers. It's the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Foaming Cleanser. And this is it right here. Um has the pump as well I've been using this one for like the past two or three years and this face wash has been really really good to me I really really like it I tried the liquid one there's like a liquid one also but I just rather buy the foaming one than the liquid one I like this one better um, it makes a difference to me I feel like the other one kind of dried my skin out a little bit and this one is actually very, very gentle on my skin and it actually gets the work done. Like, it removes any extra dirt or gunk off of your face. So I really, really like this product. The last thing that I got at HEB is this um, e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set in Clear. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. The camera is like, I hope the camera is picking it up. Um, yeah, but it's this one here. This is my first time buying this product. So this product is new to me I usually buy the wet and wild makeup spray makeup setting spray um, But they didn't have it this time. So I ended up buying this one here I've never tried it before like I said, I've never even looked up reviews on it So I don't know if this is a good product or not It doesn't really it doesn't really smell like anything. Wait, is that supposed to like look what it looks like? It looks kind of yellowish to me. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like. I mean, I can't even figure out the scent to it. I don't know, it kind of smells like glue to me now that I sprayed it on. But yeah. I hope I like it. Um, I mean, it was only three bucks, I think, so it's not that bad. But like I said, I've never tried it, so I'm kind of scared to try this one also, only because I don't want it to irritate my skin. I have tried e.l.f. products before, and they haven't done anything bad to my skin. But I don't know, this one smells kind of weird. I hope I like it. We'll see how it goes with this one. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to what I got at TG Maxx. I only got one thing, so I'm just going to get that out of the way. It is the clay eye masks from the True Beauty brand. I've never heard of this brand before. Here, let me move it this way. The camera, it's way too bright in here, so I don't know the camera. Yeah, there we go. And this is what the top looks like. So recently I've been getting like super 
dry under eyes like right here so I wanted to look for something that would moisturize other than a uh, body not body other than a face or eye cream and I ended up finding these for $5.99 um, I've never heard of this brand um, and I already did I already I already opened these um, because I wanted to smell them I haven't tried them on yet um, it's not the best scent, but it's not like a really bad scent either. They come with like these tweezer thingamabobs here to lift up to lift up the um, the little eye mask here. Oh, it's actually kind of difficult to get it. This is what it looks like here. It's like this bright orange color here, and then you just apply this on your eye. Um, this is what they look like inside. There are how many? 36 of them. I kind of like them. I don't know if I like them as of right now I don't know if I'm gonna like them after I wear them, but Yeah, let me see what the box said uh, With natural clay minerals de Designed to cool and soothe like actual clay helps reduce swelling puffiness and the appearance of dark circles uses used to relieve ice after late nights extended computer use allergies and more um yeah I hadn't really read that so it's not it's not really for um for dry under eyes but I'll keep them anyways I hadn't really read into it I mean I do go to go to sleep pretty late so they might work for the puffiness but yeah I'm keeping these anyways we'll see how it goes that was it for TJ Maxx. Now I'm going to move on to Marshall. I'm going to start off with the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I got this in the scent Sweetie. I got it for $4.79. It's not much of a price difference. I think Target has them for like $5 or $6. So it's only like $1 or $2 difference. Um, this little print here is super, super cute. I don't know if the camera is picking that up. But yeah, this is like the uh, like little babushka dolls or something. <laughs> and they're so cute. Like they're like in pink and red and purple. Um, the scent to this, um, I hadn't gotten this scent specifically, but I have tried the Batiste. Um, I think the other one that I got was like a floral or I don't remember what it was. But this one smells really, really sweet. Um, I really like this. I really like the scent. I don't mind the scent. It's not very strong. It's not very, um, I don't know. I like the scent. It's very sweet, um, but I really, really like it. Um, it's just, it's a sweet and delicious on here. So that explains the scent to it. Uh, yeah, I really like this. Um, I like the brand. I like the scent and yeah, that was the first thing that I got at Marshall's. The second thing that I got at Marshall's was I actually already tried and already opened. I tried them last night. They're the Dirty Works Multitasking 4-in-1 Face Wipes. It says gentle cleansing, removes makeup, hydrating, antioxidant rich. Um, like I said, I already tried them last night and so far so good for these also. They didn't irritate my skin. They didn't dry my skin. The smell, it smells like, it smells like soap. I mean, I don't really know how to describe the scent to this. It's not a bad smell it just smells I guess clean I feel like I'm saying everything smells clean <laughs> but yeah I mean it, it smells it doesn't smell bad it's not like a fruity or floral scent it just smells it's a very clean scent um, and I've liked these so far yeah I if I find them again I probably will purchase them I like using face wipes a lot uh, for removing makeup this is probably like the first step that I do when removing my makeup is use face wipes and then I'll go over with the face wash so I gotta have my face wipes and I really really like these so far another thing that I got at Marshall's is this Schmitz fragrance free deodorant and look at this like how weird is this deodorant like it comes in a little jar and not your typical bar or roll-on deodorant I found this to be super interesting and that's actually one of the reasons why I bought it um, I also got it because it's fragrance free so you guys can see big green letter um, and it's supposed to be made of natural 
um, ingredients. It says this natural formula effectively neutralizes underarm odor and absorbs wetness. Certified vegan and cruelty free. Um, like I was saying already, I've already mentioned it like a hundred times on this video. I have super sensitive skin and one of the most sensitive spots in my body is my underarms. Um, they tend to get really, really dark, irritated, itchy, like it's just really, really bad. Um, and I have to be very careful with what deodorant I try. Um, I've tried Secret, I've tried Dove, I've tried the Crystal brand. Marsh I saw it at Marshalls too, but that just didn't do it for me. I've even tried some of the Lush deodorants and they just, they just don't do anything for me other than irritate my skin and darken them darken my underarms even more so i have a really hard time finding deodorants and i decided to give this one a shot again i'm not gonna lie kind of scared to try it but um yeah let me open it up and show you guys what it looks like it literally does not smell like anything i had already smelled it and it comes um i should have shown you guys with this like little spatula here yeah, if i move it this way you guys can see it better um, but that's what it looks like. This is like solid deodorant right here and it comes with a, this little spatula. Um, I guess you're supposed to like scrape it off or pick it up because I mean it's very very solid. It's not like creamy textured at all. So I don't know if you're supposed to like pick it up or I have no idea. I'm gonna have to figure it out obviously. Um, but yeah, very interesting deodorant. I hope it does me good and not bad it was $3.99 and when I looked it up it says here compare at seven dollars but I looked it up online here let me check again just to make sure so yeah retail price is $9.99 and I only got this one for four bucks so that was a pretty good price um, I really hope I like it we'll see how it goes the next thing that I got is uh, this yes to cucumbers soothing cooling hydrating mist um, I was kind of excited to find this because I hadn't found it at my local Target um, and I wanted, I've been wanting a hydrating mist for a while now. I wanted the Pixie one, but the Pixie one, not only did they not have it at Target, but when I went looking for it, the price was there and there were like 15, 16 bucks and I really didn't want to spend that much on something that might not even do me good. So... When I found this one, um, I was very excited because I looked up dupes on Pinterest. The Yes to Cucumbers was similar to it. So I was very, very excited to find this one. I like that it has the little lock knob on it because my little three-year-old will probably reach this and spray it and finish it. Like, yeah. So I'm glad that this one has that locking option on it. Um, I got it for $6.99 and retail price is $10.99. That's actually, I mean, I actually think I got it for a good price considering that it's 11 bucks at Walgreens and I got it for $6. But yeah, the smell of this is so good. I wanted to make sure that the little knob worked, so I already did try it. Look, I'll show you guys. And oh, it smells so good. It literally smells like cucumbers. Duh. Um, it's cucumbers. Uh, but it just smells so refreshing. It's such a nice scent. Oh, it smells really, really good. I really like the scent to this. Um, I haven't tried it on yet, but um, I have tried the Yes2 products before and um, they don't do, they don't cause any irritation on my skin. So, I want to say that I do not think that this will give me any reaction. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of excited to try this one. And then the next two things that I found at Marshalls, I am so excited to be sharing with you guys. I think it's like my favorite part of the whole beauty products stuff that I got. And yeah, it's the stuff right here. The Body Shop's Honey Mania. Uh, products I got the honey mania nourishing body butter and then I got this one it's also the honey mania but this is the exfoliating cream body scrub 
And oh my gosh, when I found these, I was so excited. I even got my mom to buy one of these exfoliating creams and she already tried hers and she says that she loves them so much or she loves it so much, not them. She didn't get the body butter, she just got the exfoliator, but she liked it a lot. The smell to this, oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm already a big fan of honey as it is, and this scent, oh, it is so, so good. Like, <gasps> I had already smelled it before and I'm acting like, I, this is my first time smelling it, but I just can't get enough of the smell. It just smells so good. And the most exciting thing is, let me show you guys the prices. Um, I just found them on the Ulta website and the Body Butter, um, they have the 6.67 ounce for $21 and I got the 13.5 ounce for $7.99. That's such a good deal. I was so excited about that. I had already looked that up. I looked it up right there at Marshalls. And when I found out that Ulta had a smaller bottle for $21, I was like, I'm taking this. Um, my son already picked his finger in there. But um, yeah, it smells so good. And then the exfoliator or body scrub um, is... Again, the 6.8 ounce is $20. This one here, um, excuse the tack. I know it looks kind of gross. I wanted to, I was trying to take it off so that you guys could see the amount on here. And I left some residue behind. But anyways, uh, this is the 9.8 ounce. Um, I got this one for $5.99 like you guys saw. And they have it online. The 6.8 ounce is $20. So again, another great deal. I was so happy I found these for such a good deal. So I'm excited to try them. I hope they don't irritate my skin. We'll see how it goes because I am super excited about them. I have never tried the Body Shop before because they do tend to be a little bit on the pricier side. So yeah, I had only smelled them. I had never bought them. So... And the last thing that I got at Marshalls is not a beauty product, it's actually a home product and it's this little room spray here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. Oh, there we go. It has like little uh, starfish and seashells. This is the High Fragrance Ocean Breeze Room Spray. Um, it's not exactly the scent that I was looking for. I kind of lean more towards the fall scents like cinnamon and apple spice and you know just scents that come out in the fall but Marshalls didn't have anything like that yet so I ended up bringing this one because this one smells pretty clean and fresh yeah it smells really good um, so this one will do for now um, it's like a very summery smell um, and yeah that was the last thing that I got at Marshalls all right so I'm gonna move on to what I got at Target and uh, the thrift store um, I'll just start off with what I got at the thrift store. So I'm going to start off with this super, super cute blouse. Um, I only got this one for $2. Um, it's from Forever 21. Um, there we go. Oh my gosh. You guys, seriously, excuse my nails. It's like a button-down blouse. And the buttons here are like velvety buttons. And then it has another like button here on the sleeve and it's this black star print the color is like this like beigey pink color it's super super cute and then it has like this little division here like the little peplum cut right here I don't know if you guys can tell but it has like this peplum cut right onto here it is such a cute blouse I only got it for two dollars I have to wash it but yeah, I really, really like this blouse. Again, super inexpensive and in super great conditions. The next thing that I got at the thrift store is this super cute um, spaghetti strap blouse um, in this like really pretty olive green color. Next time I buy um, clothes, I'll do like a try on haul for you guys. But um, yeah, this is what I got here. I love the little ruffle detail on top. I feel like it's perfect for summer and even the fall. I feel like it will look really cute with like a cardigan. This one still has the uh, Target tag on it. I got it at the thrift store, but it is from the 
Massimo brand. I think that's how you pronounce this name, but it's from this brand here. Um, Massimo. But um, yeah, super, super cute. I got this one for like four, three or four bucks. And yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. The next thing that I got is, that's the last thing I got at the thrift store, but it is this super cute skirt. It actually looks a lot bigger in camera, but no, this is a size, yeah, this is a size small. I don't know where this brand is from. It still has the tag on it, Francesca's. Here, I'll show you guys, Francesca's. I got this one for $5. It's this super cute, like, pink color and then it has like a little bit of like silver on it like a metallic color i don't know how i'm gonna wear it yet but i really liked it um i feel like the camera isn't really picking up how cute it is maybe if i would have tried it on for you guys you guys would have seen because i did um i did try it on at the store and i really really like i'm gonna move on with what i got at um at target starting off with these super cute, again, Massimo shoes. Um, they are so, so cute. Cute, like baby pink. Um, oh, I love these sneakers so much. Um, they have like these like little like silver and gold sparkles to it. I'm happy with this purchase. These were 20 bucks, I think. I don't know if I took the tag off. I don't see the tag anymore but yeah I think these were like $19.99 and they are so so cute really happy with these uh, the next thing that I got these this was actually the only reason why I was going to Target for is I needed to buy some shorts for my son he wears uniform to his school so he needed some khaki uh, shorts and these are from the cat and Jack brand um they're the size seven they are very very cute um he looks super cute in them and they have like this super cute like striped detail inside not that anybody's gonna look at it but yeah i really like this brand a lot for the kids so there we go i got those shorts for my son and then the rest of the stuff i was telling my husband that i needed a couple of like shirts for um for school runs um I wanted to buy like some comfortable t-shirts and, and we ended up going to the clearance section and they had a ton a ton of stuff so I got a couple of stuff starting off with this one this is from the Marona brand and it has like this it actually looks a lot bigger in camera but I tried it on and it's really cute it has like this loose end over here so I feel like it will look really cute with like leggings or like skinny jeans um yeah it's like in this grayish blackish print super cute super comfortable another thing i'm happy with i'm happy with all of my purchases okay so i'm gonna be saying i'm happy with everything um this other one is not for school runs i feel like this is more for like a lunch date or date night or movies or it's this blouse here from the acceleration brand it has like this lace right here is that what it's called this little thing right here i think it's like the lace um, and then it has like this beautiful print at the at the back. Um, how cute is that, you guys? It is so cute. So I think this is more from like their summer uh, collection, but I feel like this would look really cute in the fall as well. The next thing that I got is another T-shirt. Um, this is from the Zoe and Liv collection. Zoe and Liv, I think it's Zoe, but that's I don't know Zoe or Zoe. Um, I'm not sure, but it says weekends on it. Um, who doesn't like the weekends, but yeah, I really like this shirt so much. It's super cute I tend to gravitate towards gray and navy blue shirts a lot. So You guys are more than likely gonna see me wearing gray and blues a lot a lot Another gray shirt that I got this is from the Mo Massimo brand again love it that I got is more of a like it's a lot more dressier, I feel like. It's kind of wrinkled. It's in this baby pink color. It has these super cute ruffled detail here at the end of the arm area. And it has like this button down here. Really, really cute. I don't necessarily think I'll be using this one for school runs, but I feel like it would be super cute again for like a lunch date or a day out with the family. I also got this one which is in the large so it did fit me kind of big 
Um, this one was only $4, but it did have the adjustable straps on here. Um, I don't think I'll be using this one to go out. I feel like I'll be using it to stay here at home or as a PJ. This one says, Need More Coffee, and it has like this uh, really cute ruffle detail at the bottom. Um, I really like this one. It's from the Acceleration brand. And yeah, I feel like I'll just be using this one to stay here at home. And the last thing that I got uh, clothes related at Target is this super, super cute t-shirt dress. I think that's what they're called, like t-shirt dress. Um, and this bright red has like this super cute pocket in the front, really cute ruffles on the sleeves and really cute ruffle details at the end of the dress. I feel like this dress will look really cute. Okay, so I had to turn on the light really quickly because it got dark all of a sudden. But anyways, yeah, I was showing guys this dress and I don't know why, but I love wearing black and red during the winter time. So when I saw this dress, I thought it was perfect for the winter. I can already picture myself wearing it with some like black tights or something or some like really cute boots. So I'm super, super excited about this cute little dress. So the last thing that I got at Target was this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. Um, I have never tried this one before. I usually buy the e.l.f. one, the poreless one, I think. It's like in this pink color, but they did not have it. Oh, I should have just gotten it at H-E-B, but I waited too long and I ended up trying to get it at Target and they didn't have it, so I got this one. That's so funny because what I wanted to get at H-E-B from Wet n Wild they didn't have, so I got the e.l.f. And now I wanted to get something that was e.l.f. at Target and they didn't have it and I ended up getting the Wet n Wild. But I don't know if I'm gonna like it or not. I actually haven't even looked up reviews on this one either. So we'll see how this one works out for me. Vaseline Body Lotion. This one was supposed to be on my H-E-B stuff but I forgot about it and I found it over there towards the lamp. Um, it's the Vaseline Intensive Care. Coco Radiant with Pure Cocoa Butter Body Lotion. I have been using this body lotion since high school and I absolutely love this body lotion. What? Okay, hold on. Yeah, boy. And it is really, really good, especially for the summertime. And if you live in Southern Texas, you know that summer doesn't end till like mid-November. Yeah, no joke. This is super, super good for nice glowy skin. It also comes with uh, with like a gel kind. I'll put a little picture right here so that you guys know what I am talking about. It comes with like this Vaseline gel or I don't know what it's called. But like I said, I'll put a picture here. And when I went to H-E-B, they didn't have it and I forgot to get it at Target. I forgot to even look into it. But I usually buy them together and they work really, really great. But no biggie, I will be using this with my coconut oil and I've done it before and it works just as great. But yeah, highly, highly recommend this one if you get dry skin or just want that natural glowing, you know, feel to your skin. The smell, it's a soft but sweet scent. You can definitely wear something over it like a body spray or perfume and you won't be smelling this throughout the day. Like it's not going to be a scent that you get tired of at least not for me. It's also non-greasy. I did mention that it does leave your skin like very like glowy looking, but it's not like a greasy look. So that was pretty much it for this video. I know that it took a little bit longer than I was expecting, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this haul video. Um, let me know in the comments below what are some uh, stuff that you have recently purchased and yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you on my next video and yeah, bye guys.